Cheers. It's a Panama Geisha natural processed. Wow. Welcome back, folks. It's good to be hanging out with you guys once again. And today we're going to be talking about my coffee home brew bar, my brew bar at home, but it's not quite at home. It's actually at the office right behind me. This is it. Here's the thing. Unfortunately, if I'm being really honest, I spend more time in, in this office than I do at home, which is, yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing, unfortunately. But anyways, that's what it is. And that being said, I moved all my coffee gear and my entire coffee setup into the office with the exception of one piece of gear, which is the coffee grinder. And we'll talk about that shortly. But folks, let's get into this. First things first, we're gonna talk about coffee brewers probably one of the most important things on this entire bar. That's what makes coffee brewing actually possible. Unfortunately, I do not have an espresso machine and that is the hope. I hope to get one. I used to have one. I used to own the Breville 980XL, which is uh, the Breville Oracle. It's a beautiful machine and has all the best bells and whistles that you want. That being said, I'm a huge filter coffee fan. Number one being the classic and the trustworthy Hario V60, and this is the ceramic one. This is like as OG as it gets. This is my daily driver. I also use the Kalita 155 and the Kalita 185. Just look at this little thing. It's like the cutest little coffee brewer. It's the miniature version of the Kalita, the regular size Kalita wave, and I love it, I enjoy it. It's great for brewing small little brews, and especially if you have that extra 10 to 15 grams left in your bag of coffee that you don't just wanna throw away, you actually wanna enjoy it. Well, I usually toss it in here. It's kinda of fun to pull out every once in a while. Other than that, I'm also using the Breville uh, Precision Brewer. It's the drip coffee maker. You see it right here in the corner. And it's probably one of the best and my favorite home drip coffee maker. It does a spectacular job, has all the uh, bells and whistles programmed right into it. You can change flow rate, bloom, bloom, bloom time, and all kinds of fun little things. And it has a, the gold standard recipe built right into it in case you don't wanna deal with all those things. One button and you got spectacular coffee. If you're looking for a drip coffee maker, that can make really great coffee at home, that's probably what I would go for. It's a really great and solid machine. That being said, we're gonna go to number two, which is probably the most important thing that you can have on a coffee brew bar, which is your coffee grinder. And I get to enjoy the EK43S right behind me which is a spectacular grinder. It does one hell of a job. It's definitely not perfect though. It has a couple uh, things that I don't really enjoy about it, but uh, some of those small little things that I don't enjoy about it, I still love because it's really a beast of a grinder. Other than that, the grinder that I used at home is the Barazza Forte BG, the Barazza Forte Brew Grinder. It does an incredible job. It's like a slice of the price as the EK43. And although this can be controversial, I would say it can actually stand up to the EK43 grind quality. It does a really great job. What I'm using on my home brew bar or the office brew bar, it's the EK43. And lastly, uh, there's a lot of really interesting small little accessories that I'd love to go over that are on my brew bar that make brewing a cup of coffee on a daily basis, really actually enjoyable. And number one, that would be my Akai Pearl Scale. The scale is spectacular. I mean, I get it, it's a little overpriced for just being something that just measures grams, measures your beans, but really it works flawlessly. It just does the very basics really, really well, as opposed to other cheaper scales that will sometimes glitch out on you mid-brew, which is a problem, or that will lag slightly, or get less accurate the more coffee that you put on them, which is kind of unfortunate. Number two, out of those small little accessories, I would say is the EKG Stag Fellow, Fellow Stag Kettle. It does a really great job. I used to use a Hario stovetop kettle, and I was like, whatever, it has a gooseneck, it's going to do the job. You know, at the end of the day, I really just need a gooseneck that's gonna pour water out. 
Little did I know that once I invested into this stag kettle, it would really change my entire brewing game. It's a whole different experience and it looks freaking beautiful on the brew bar. Number three, I would say well, this is like an unconventional um, piece of equipment, but I have some cupping bowls and spoons down uh, under my brew bar, which I love to have around, which I think this is one of the more underrated coffee enthusiast pieces of gear that I would recommend everybody to have. And if y'all want me to do a whole separate video about it and why it's important to have that, I can definitely do that. Just comment below um, if you'd want to see that. And last but not least, out of those small little bits and pieces on my brew bar, I would say is, well, the fellow carafe and the fellow taster. The fellow taster is just, I don't know, fellow just has a thing with creating really beautiful products that are just also such a joy to use. And to go with it is that glass, double walled glass carafe from fellow. This is a really great job. My only downside of this is that most of the time I'm only brewing one cup, which probably fills up only like a quarter of this carafe, which means this is a little excessive. However, other than that, it's beautiful once again. I love taking pictures. I love taking videos of this. It just looks incredible. And paired with the double wall taster, you can see these are like a perfect match for each other. That's really all there is to my brew bar. It's pretty simple. It's just meant for filter coffee, but I'm a huge filter coffee fan. So that does just about everything that I need. It would be nice once again to throw in a little bit of an espresso machine on here, which may come with time. But as of right now, I'm more than pleased with this setup. If you have any questions about the setup or recommendations, or you need some inspiration, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. But I'm just gonna wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you hopefully very soon. Have a good one.